Every year in China, year after year, century after century, floods occur on the Yellow River, the Yangtze River, the Pearl River, and a lot of the smaller rivers. And why is nothing done, especially over modern China era or the modern China era, nothing is done to prevent floods, even though it's law. A warm welcome to the channel. It is today, Friday, the 21st of January 2022. My name is James, and today talking about flood prevention, China, floods, free gorges, dams, etc. And surprisingly, flood prevention is actually law. And once again, it's the CPC, the CCP, the Chinese government talking the talk, but doing very little action about it. Let's hop into it. She stresses people's safety in flood prevention control. Over the years of modern China, and when I'm talking modern China, I'm talking about, you could say, developed or developing China in the last 22 years. China has rapidly changed over that period of time. And floods have been in China constantly through the beginning of time. It's just the way it is. Global climate change, pollution doesn't help either. But she actually said this, possibly in 2016, as a, I'm the best general secretary, I'm the best dictator in the world, sympathizing with people. This is a part of China for you, or the Chinese government talk the talk, but never walking the walk. What prevention has China done? But you may be saying to yourself, hey, hold on, other countries do have floods. Oh, there's a message for you. Every country does have floods. Germany last year. Okay, granted. But how often does the main river in Germany flood? The Danube, or I've forgotten the actual name of the river from 2021. How often does it flood? Very rare indeed. Question, how often does the Yellow River, Pearl River, Yangtze River flood? Near enough every year. What China does, they will call it unprecedented. When they go to say, we prevent floods, obviously they don't. Now, I have closed the curtain because I know some people will be saying, the glare, I thought it'd be a bit of natural light for you. Xi Jinping and floods, he ordered authorities at all levels to promptly organize food prevention and disaster f relief forces, properly accommodate those affected, strictly prevent secondary disasters and minimize casualties and property losses. So, granted, the relief efforts are amazing. The rescue workers, yes, they are heroes. It's their job. They rescue thousands, and I mean thousands, tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of people from the flood waters which accumulate each year, which happen each year. Articles related to China floods, massive rescue and relief efforts, they all do a sterling job. But what about the prevention? So it doesn't happen or at least the minimum that it's a minimal effect how to prevent floods well obviously we know china knows everyone knows that rivers are going to flood this year they flood every year it's as common as your birthday as simple as that the dams are meant to be there for flood control measure. But 50% of China dams are crap. Excuse a bad word, but they are outdated, unmanned, inefficient. These dams, firstly, 
to prevent flood control should be improved to restore. The Spun Cities, what happened last year in July 2021, supposedly a Spun City. Obviously it wasn't because they used the word unprecedented. If you're building something, you're going to build it 100%, not the attitude of, well, yeah, it's okay, that will do because it doesn't happen. Obviously it does. Dikes, dams, um, embedments, uh, reservoirs, overflow systems, the list goes on. Yes, it is a mammoth task, it is a multi-trillion task, especially in China. But this is law according to Chinese law, and Xi Jinping said, we want it better, but nothing happens. You will see this year guaranteed floods in many parts of China. Many people will be um, flooded away from their home. Authorities will deny all knowledge to it and will open up sluice gates without informing the people below so they have a chance to evacuate. If they do, then these people need compensation and a place to live. This is an article. China Flood Control Project, a bigger role for farmers and a better alert system. Can you see here, they're passing the buck to the farmers who don't really have time to do a bigger role. You know, farmers around the world, they work like 13 hours a day. It's difficult to be a farmer. I'm sure there's some viewers there. You wake up at the crack of morning and you go to, you go to bed sometimes even late at night because you're protecting your investment. Farmers work hard, they don't have time to do flood control. It's the responsibility of the Ministry of Water Resources who just sit in Beijing just having, well, a cup of coffee. Well, in China, a cup of tea. But I guarantee they won't be using that mug. So let's have a look at the levels for today. Friday the 21st of January 2022 on the Yangtze River, the Free Gorges Dam. We have Kutan at the top. Oh, once again, this is in Chinese, it's okay. At the top number, 170 point something, and that has stayed the same. And third from the bottom, you can see 170.15. That's the Free Gorges, so that's gone down because it's in green. A lot of them you can see have gone up surprisingly inflow and outflow six seven and six eight accordingly there on the free gorges reservoir and the weather looks like this for you in central china the hand yep i repeat myself constantly by the free gorges and the central china seems to have quite a bit of rain but it's only in millimeters I don't think it goes above, you could say, 2.5 millimetres, which is, what, a quarter of a centimetre, I think. Don't quote me on that. A little bit of snow as well, um, 3.5 millimetres of snow around there, but this is just going to hit the mountains of the gorges. It's not going to be by the actual gorge itself. And once again, as we said over the last three or four days, the weather does dissipate into the yellow, the South China Sea, and eventually into the Pacific Ocean. It's just surprising that each year we know there's going to be floods. And in other countries, they know there may be floods, but the flood prevention is a lot better. In America or Germany or France, if it does flood, it really is unprecedented. But in China, if it does flood, and it does flood every single year since I've been doing this and beyond, unprecedented is a word they use when they, how to say, it's just a regular flood. And who is to blame for the flood? Yeah, climate can change. Who is the person or the country with the world's biggest global pollution problem, China. It is because it has the biggest population 
in the world of 1.4 billion. So obviously this is climate change, this is going to hit, this is going to hit the rivers, etc. I'm not an environmental officer or an ecologist or whatever. It's just for me, logical common sense there. So unprecedented in China, they will just use when they can't control it or they've done absolutely nothing. They say they've done something, but you will see the news throughout 2022 when the floods do come, they will say, oh, well done to the rescue workers. Yes, well done indeed. But could of that flood been prevented? Because near enough, the prediction is incredibly high for the flood. 2020, the Three Gorges, when it had the big floods in the Yangtze River, did the Three Gorges manage to control the flood? Well, possibly a little bit upstream, but downstream, the answer was no. 11 of the sluice gates were open and it was flooding Yingchang, it was flooding the Yangtze Basin, and you can just go to Floods China 2020 on YouTube or on Google, basically, and you will see a lot there. That is my rant and rave for today, the 21st of January 2022. Still difficult to say 2022. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. Wherever you are, be safe, be well, and have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye for now.